Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very well. In this video, I will give you some of the very practical knowledge which I have gained just by evaluating the chat GPT. So this is the resume which is a single page resume I have for my 20 plus years of professional career. It itself is looking very good but however with the help of chat GPT that resume can also be enhanced as you can see that I am rewarding my resume expertise section here and this is the updated version of that then I am also rewarding my resume professional experience which I am asking chat GPT reward it this is my final resume look like after this resume is ready with the help of chat GPT we can actually validate that what would be the best suitable profession for the resume experience not only that now with the help of chat GPT you can see that I am understanding that whether I will be fit for this particular job or not based on this particular job qualifications and responsibilities and once you find out you are fit for a particular job you can actually use chat GPT to write a cover letter for yourself which can come out something like that. So there is a lot you could do with chat GPT as long as, long as you know how to utilize the prompt with the information you are looking to get out from it. So let's get ourselves started. So we already have access to chat GPT console or the web console where we could ask our prompt. Next, I will show you my resume, which pretty much is a single page document, has my personal information, my education, and some of my expertise, and then my career or the professional experience. Very first thing, if you are creating your resume or creating a document, you can always use the free version of Grammarly, which will help you to just make sure everything what you are writing is correct, hyphenation, punctuation, anything can be updated. Not only that, it actually gives you some ideas about correctness, clarity, engagement, what you would want from that content to be engaging or the target person and as well as the delivery. So you can take your content and you just try to make sure that everything is right or not. So based on word, grammar, everything looks right here. Now we can look into the Grammarly and as you could see, there are few suggestions available. We can add the punctuation, self-driven, there is a comma needed. This would be better option. So US dollar 2 million and, and a comma. So mostly these are the punctuation as well as the grammar mistake I had. And now if you look into the engaging is quite engaging. The score is 99%. So this is the better content for our resume expertise area. And we had a comma here. It means that we just really need to add this thing and we need to take this content and replace with this one. So this is the content which we have just updated. So I would say that this is what I would like to reward. So please reward my resume expertise section as below. So this is the request we are going to put into the chat GPT. So as you could see here, the same content has been updated to much better impact to our target audience. And if you take this output, now you can go back to Grammarly and say, hey, if there is anything needed in order to improve here, actually there are no suggestions available, but if you would want, you can actually bullet point it. Once you put everything in bullet point, and you see that delivery is slightly off because this is not a paragraph here. Now we can take this whole thing and we can update our resume. And now that is your much more enhanced expertise section in your resume. Similar to that, if you would want to change your professional experience, 
And I will click this. Please revert my resume professional experience section, which is all the way up to here. And in the chat GPT console, I will ask it to reword it. So this whole section is going to be rewarded again. And now this is a much better and much more impactful revised experience rather than what I really had before. So, and as you could see that I was able to manage the new content within the single page. So after using the chat GPT, I was able to update my resume. So you can get an idea that just using the combination of chat GPT and Grammarly, you can enhance your resume. We have completed the part one of our exercise. Now we will look into how we can use the chat GPT to figure it out whether this resume is fit for a certain job or not. So first I can go to chat GPT and ask that based on my experience, what kind of job is going to be fit for me? So this is the experience. And as you could see here, what will be the suitable profession based on following experience? So this is the question to the chat GPT. Just ask here. Isn't great. Okay, when this error happens, the best option is to reload, type again, and there you go. So you can get an idea that based on this particular experience which we have provided to the chat GPT prompt, as you could see that the experience shows that positions such as CTO, vice president of engineering, or a technology advisor or consultant could be the best suitable position. Now you can actually say that can you summarize this experience. So if I take this whole experience and I will summarize. So can you summarize the following professional experience. So you can get an idea about what this professional experience can be summarized in a paragraph. So this is what people is going to perceive after reviewing your resume. Okay. Now the question comes, what is the probability or possibility for me if I will try to apply this position? So here are the job responsibilities. So this is what we really needed and we are going to look into validate that this job requirement is really going to fit for my resume or not. So let's take this prompt. And as you can see that I'm really providing lots of content to chat GPT, which has ability to process great amount of data. That's my prompt. And just to make sure, remember this is my prompt. What do you think about my hiring chances based on my experience for the following job description? Okay, now you see here that this really talks about what I have done. Now you see, however, my experience seemed to be more focused on technical leadership and product development, while the job description is seeking a candidate with a strong background in sales strategy and go to market motions. And that was the chat GPT was able to figure it out. So the ideal candidate should have MBA and the similar background. And here is the final conclusion that I might have chance for this role, but it depends on how well my technical experience is aligned with business or sales specific or go to market need for this job. So very quickly, you could figure it out that this resume is really not fit for this kind of job. I will take one more example where I will take this data science job as this data science job required this qualification and these responsibilities. So I will take and actually I just need qualifications and responsibilities. And I will go and I will change this part only. And I will use this prompt.
come back here let's put another question so this time as you see that we are asking same question here and we have changed a different job specification with resume and here the qualifications alignment and here is the my experience which could be fit for this particular job and I can be a strong candidate. Now what I want is that I want to change the prompt. I will ask what are my hiring possibilities rather than asking thinking. So I will take this prompt, replace with this prompt and I will go back and ask the same question. This time my prompt is really different and as you could see here Please describe my hiring possibilities for the following job based on my professional experience. Let's come back. Okay, now you see that based on my question, the answer is really different now. Because I asked for possibilities rather than think. And it is very important for you to understand the difference between these two prompts when you are asking question to chat GPT. And that's where the experience of creating prompt helps you. So in the next step, let's take a look and see that if you would have decided that you would want to apply for this position, how you can write a better cover letter. So here is the job highlight. We have already seen it. So now we need to create the cover letter. So remember, this was the job description. So now we need to write a cover letter. Here is the cover letter. So prompt is create a cover letter for the following. And here we could say at Apple. So job. Okay. And here is my whole experience. Let's come back. So we, here is our prompt. Create a cover letter for the following data scientist job at Apple. Here is the job highlights, responsibilities. Here is my resume and everything is there. And now you could see that chat GPT is helping me to write a better cover letter, which is very specific to the given job. And as you could see that my interest in data center's position at Apple, highly motivated. So this is giving my personal attribute, whether I'm fit for the job or not, then it's like a data investigation and analysis project. So data a specific job in my previous role where I have applied the machine learning. This is the team where I would be applying for this and cover letter is written in really great detail where my resume or my professional experience is aligned towards the job requirement. However, if I would want to write a cover letter for this position where I really know that I am not really fit for it by the chat GPT guidance, but I can still apply for this and I will be asking chat GPT to write a cover letter. So create a cover letter for the following director at data science office of the CTO job. So this is the whole prompt. Okay, so now let's go ahead and ask for a second request where we are creating the prompt for director at the office of CEO job. So let me make sure. Let's reload it. So here is the response from chat GPT, which was created for my cover letter for the disposition. And very first thing, as you could see that is actually try to focus the sales strategy as well as the go to market where I feel I am not fit. And it also added that unrelenting desire to learn. It means there is a room for growth. That's something I like. And that is all added by the chat GPT while creating this cover letter for me. So I can take this whole text, a new cover letter for me. And that is the director office of CEO role at and here I could say Druva. So that was the company name. So you can get an idea that how quickly 
you could use the freely available tool such as chat gpt which is the not a tool but at least you are using as a tool for yourself to not only enhance your professional resume first but also use that resume to find the better suitable job where you have higher degree of confidence for you to be successful so as you can see that we have used chat gpt mostly to first fix our resume upgrade it to look more professional and more to to the point or the targeted to our direct employers then we have used chat gpt to figure it out which jobs where we are most suitable to apply and finally also use the chat gpt to create the cover letter specific to that job by using your professional experience available in your resume I hope and if you are looking for a new career all the very best hope you be successful thank you so much for your time and i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video